Hello everyone, I am Alka1093 with a new prediction video for the next WWE pay-per-view event. Because tonight is WWE Fastlane, the final stop on the road to WrestleMania. WrestleMania taking place next month. Eight matches are on the match card with not likely more to be added considering there's eight. But some matches may change a little bit either before, during, or after the match. You're never 100% sure with WWE. But here are the eight matches that have been announced and my predictions for them. So only the match that only was announced very recently on Friday on SmackDown, Seth Rollins versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Seth Rollins has had sort of a feud with Cesaro recently, uh, and Shinsuke coming in to sort of defend Cesaro. I expect Seth Rollins to continue the feud with Cesaro, and therefore uh, Seth Rollins wins, so that Cesaro then has to deal with uh, Seth Rollins later. Potentially WrestleMania? I don't know. But Seth Rollins versus Cesaro, I think, will continue. So Seth Rollins beats Nakamura. Next, the match, the United States Championship match between Riddle and Mustafa Ali. Um, Riddle has beaten Ali uh, recently. I do expect, I kind of hope as well, even though I like Riddle, uh, I hope that Mustafa Ali takes the title. So I'm going to predict that one. And Mustafa Ali wins the US title. Then Shane McMahon versus Braun Strowman. I would be surprised if Shane McMahon wins that match. I think he was brought back to help with the feud with Braun Strowman, but I do expect that Braun Strowman will win that match. Then, Randy Orton versus Alexa Bliss, an intergender match which we don't see a lot. How much they'll wrestle, I'm not really sure. Um, in the past few months, we've had two intergender matches, both with Reginald. Reginald never really hit the opponent much, even though he technically did win one of them. Um... Randy versus Alexa, there might be some hits. Alexa probably with her taunting, with her creepy voodoo magic, probably hits Randy Orton or makes him spew some black goo again. I don't expect either to really win. Um, there's been a build-up of, yeah, not yet, not yet, and come back. The Fiend is likely to return, whether in the same shape or in a different one. Uh, we don't know, but it does make sense for The Fiend as a character, considering he mostly wrestles on pay-per-views, that he's either he was going to be back for a pay-per-view. Uh, the WrestleMania being the next one, I expect, with the huge build-up that Randy's had with The Fiend, and now also Alexa, since The Fiend was burned alive, that Randy will face The Fiend at WrestleMania, and that this match is a setup for that. So I say, neither Orta nor Bliss really wins, but the Fiend appears, or at least suggests his comeback, very strongly. I think, I, I'm going to say he will come back, and a match is set up between Orton and The Fiend for WrestleMania. Next match, Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus, a no-holds-barred match. The 1v1 between McIntyre and Sheamus that we kind of wanted for the WWE Championship, but we never got. Considering it's already confirmed McIntyre will face Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania, I would be surprised if Sheamus wins, because if McIntyre wins, he's in the, going into WrestleMania with a loss. It's not that great of a um, feel for McIntyre for the matchup with him and Lashley, I feel. And considering McIntyre hasn't lost much at all. Like, he's won it, three matches lost in the past year. Maybe four. I think three. Um, I, I expect McIntyre to win that match against Sheamus. Then there's the Intercontinental Championship match. Big E versus the new Apollo Crews. The one who's accepted his Nigerian heritage and is really showing for it. I don't really mind that he brought that in as part of his character. And he seems to have turned heel as well with that. What I don't like is that he's made the accent a consistent thing. He brought it in as like sort of a semi-joke. To show, yeah, this is how my... Um, my grandfather's and his grandfather's used to sound, things like that. that. I was fine with that, but then he brought it in as a standard thing. I don't like it. Um, Apollo Crews has lost three times already to Big E. Would feel a bit weird if he loses again, but at the same time, I feel like Big E should win. I'm going to say Big E still retains the title. Then the women's tag team match, Nia Jack, Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. Would be something if Bianca and Sasha win. Meaning we'll get uh, Sasha, um, the two belts banks once more. And Bianca Belair goes into WrestleMania as champion already. I don't expect that to happen. I think Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will be uh, the champions at the end of Fastlane. So they'll retain their titles. 
And then finally, Universal Championship, Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. Even though I feel like Dan I really want Daniel Bryan to win, I don't see Roman Reigns losing. Um, he is a WrestleMania guy. He's main event in many WrestleManias before, like three in a row, I think. 33 through 35, I believe. Um, I expect him to win. And the fact that Edge said Roman was his main opponent, that seems like a huge match, Roman versus Edge. I don't see that changing for WrestleMania. So therefore, Roman Reigns has to win this match, and he will beat Daniel Bryan. Those are my predictions for Fastlane tonight. Let me know if you agree with my predictions or you're thinking about it differently. And then let's see at the end of Fastlane what I got right. That was the video for today. Make sure you always remember that you are worth it. Goodbye.